We wants it. We needs it. They stole it from us. Sneaky little hobbitses. Wicked. Trixie false. No, not master. Yes, precious false. They will cheat you, hurt you, lie. Master's my friend. You don't have any friends. Nobody likes you. Not listening. I'm not listening. You're a liar and a thief. No, murderer. Go away. Go away. I hate you. I hate you. Where would you be without me? Golem. Golem. I saved us. It was me. We survived because of me. Not anymore. What did you say? Master looks after us now. We don't need you. What? Leave now and never come back. No. Leave now and never come back. Ugh! Leave now and never come back. We told him to go away. And he's gone, precious. He's gone. A couple things I noticed that could have potentially affected a few things and... You know, but for the most part, the most part, it was really close. And it, being it's not going to be exactly the same, and the things that they did change, some of it was cool. A lot of it were like the visual side of stuff that, you know, we get to see on there, and, you know, the added dramatics just for the effect of making it a little more exciting. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, I, I, I really did enjoy it as a film. Now, if you're going to ask me where I would rank it in like a scale of one to ten um, man that, that's it's a tough one because th th there's not enough that happens in this first part of the two towers to where it's one of my like most exciting ones right it just kind of sets stuff up right. so I would probably give the film an 8.1 out of 10 for this. 8. 8.0, 8.1 out of 10, just simply because they they did a good job of making it interesting in a non-interesting span of time. So uh, that's what I, that's what the, the kind of good compliment I can give it. And you know, it, 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 there are periods of time in the book that we mentioned that are unexciting, right? So it's going to happen. You know, obviously, if you're, if you're following close along to the novel as you should be as a director like you know just making little nuance changes here and there there are also going to be times that are uneventful there in the film so yeah it was cool though there did a lot of things that are very very similar like you had mentioned when Aomer gets off his horse and tells Gimli if his head stuck up a little bit off the ground he'd take it off and then you know Gimli and Legolas defends Gimli and puts the arrow in his face and said you will die before your sword fell like that was almost spot on word for word in the book and then when yeah. they took like I said they took the the weapons air in uh, Edoras, that's when Gandalf decides he's going to, yo, you wouldn't part an old man from his walking stick, would you? And, you know, <laughs> it's, it's, there's some things that the dialogue is almost word for word. Some of the things that they're saying. So they do it. They did a good job. They did a good job overall. And they said there's only two to three changes that they made that I just I'm not, I'm not happy with just because of the potential problem it could cause. But it's not something so blatant where it's not even like the same film or same movie as the book right like that, that that's the same that's the issue i had with the other things that we've covered is that man i can't even know how you could call that film the title of the book that it's supposed to represent because it's not even the same <laughs> yeah it's amazing how certain things when you take your time and do things well how, how better of a product comes out so yeah that's that's my my thoughts on it you know 8.1 or 8.0 8.1 out of 10 is where i kind of put part one of the two towers in between and yeah kind of give me your thoughts and give me your ranking so I'll give it an 8.5. Like, I thought it was, uh, just like you were saying, it, it's hard to really get a lot of action out of this first part because there's not really, like, a big... I mean, you had that, like, battle with the orcs and the riders, but, like, I mean, that's, like, really all you had, and it was kind of from, like, a distance. You couldn't see much, so damn dark. It was, like, uh, you know, the long night, <laughs> like, on screen. But, um... <laughs> but, no, from, honestly, like, uh, and I know I've said this before and keep in mind I can't relate to what a director goes through because I imagine it is a very difficult task you know taking books and putting them into a script because there's a lot of material however 
I had told you an interview I watched before we even, you know, started on this big arc just because I like, you know, we like to do our research beforehand. Peter Jackson, the cast was talking about like when they filmed this in New Zealand, he was always handing them a copy of the book just to look through and like read and kind of get an idea of the character feel and the events that happen there. Um, and I, I don't know, and I hate to keep harping on other franchises and stuff, I and mean, I don't know about like if how much the directors read the book in Harry Potter, but like Harry Potter, like they missed so many things. It was changing a plot point, and that's where I think like you really step over the line at the point, and this doesn't do that. Even adding little things, like even the Gollum thing was very like interesting, even though technically it could change this little character persona a little bit. It wasn't to the point of it was changing an entire plot that was going on here. Um, and I like the way they were able to piece it together by jumping from perspectives. Because imagine if you're watching that on film, the way this was written out. You get like to the second half and you're like, I forgot these characters were even here. Especially imagine watching it a year later. <laughs> like imagine like, like where were these people the whole time? And you, from an audience perspective, like you, especially if you're not reading a book, you know you got to be reminded of that, and you want to know like what they're going through at the same time. So I thought it was a very interesting take, um, and I like the little ads they did here and there. Like I like the little orc thing, like how they stepped on the orc because. It was so boring. <laughs> that damn chapter was so boring. I told you that's the one chapter. I think out of almost any series we've covered on the show that I read that I was just dozing off. I had to read standing up. It's like, how many times is Brie Galad going to hand him some mead? Let's go, man. <laughs> Let's pick it up. But so I think overall, as a film perspective, in taking the major plot points of the book i know some things were a little bit different than worm tongue and his personality and things there but overall the consensus of what you're trying to do is still there and getting it done the correct way so give it a 8.5 man for the film